Hey everyone, today I just want to make a short video and mention that the Varkat blogs already shared their parsing rules for TOGC on their Discord channel. For anyone that doesn't know, TOGC or Trial of the Crusader on Normal Mode and Trial of the Grand Crusader on Heroic Difficulty is the new 10 and 25 man raid coming with Phase 3. Keep in mind this is just the first version and anything here can still change, just like it happened in Old World as well. So the first boss here, the Northern Beast, looks like everything is being counted towards parses except the damage done during the downtime in between the phases or the three mini bosses which will be removed. For anyone that doesn't know, the first phase is the Gormog the Impaler and one of the things he's doing is that he throws snowballs at random people which kinda att attach to your character and stay at player's back. So, I'm a bit confused with the wording here, like we will remove downtime from phase 1 to phase 2 and phase 2 to phase 3. This will not affect the damage done to snowball vassals during. I'm not sure to be honest, like if they mean the damage to any excess snowball still alive in the transition will count or not, but as far as I understand it, the damage to snowballs counts uh, during the phase 1, but as soon as the Gormog is dead, and there's still downtime till the other two big worm bosses come. Uh, that's where the damage to snowball is not counted. But I might be wrong here. What you guys think? Like, leave a comment. Other than that, they are still thinking about the initial damage cap to snowballs. But for now, there is no initial damage cap. The second boss is Lord Jaraxus. Looks like everything counts here towards your parsies, so you can go ham on the ads, cleave, multi dot, AOE and make those star fall worth. Uh, also mages can spell still here and that's allowed. And there is also no initial damage cap on any of the ads for now, but they might revisit this. Faction champs, weird PvP fight, completely removed from all star points, character page, uh, complete raids, etc. So no parsing here and I'm kinda glad because like it's a to be honest it's a random and a hectic fight, right? So I'm kind of glad. Alright, Twin Walkers. We are likely to going to normalize Empowered Darkness and Empowered Light. Uh, these are the buffs you will gain for 20 seconds with the increased damage to the target of your opposing color after you collected enough orbs of your own color which are randomly spawning throughout the fight. Again, I'm a bit confused on what does this mean. As far as I understand it, you actually won't benefit from the damage increase buff on logs, uh, which is kind of weird if that's the case, to be honest, as this might again create tension between people parsing and the other raid members, as there is no benefit to move and collect orbs when you have parsing in mind, right? Because it's just not show on logs. So I'm not sure, but do I understand it correctly? Like what you guys think? And then there's the last boss, Anubarag itself. Uh, this is where I see the biggest issue as damage done to Nerubian Borrower in phase 3 is excluded except for all things and same with the Swarm Scarabs. So the Nerubian Borrower are the bigger ads spawning which you are tanking on the ice patches to prevent them from borrowing. Uh, if they are not counted this might create the issue again as people who want to parse will just decide to ignore them completely like, which is not really beneficial to your raid kill, right? Uh, me for example as a balance druid uh, I was saving starfall for when they spawn to get most of the starfall on multi multiple targets and help kill them quicker by cleaving. Now like when you have parsing in mind like you are incentivized to actually starfall right off the bat to set to like every single star hit only Anubarak itself and nothing else. So same with the little ads, Swarm Scarabs, like if they are not counting during the bar he like the barrel transition phase, like a heavy parsing people will completely ignore them, not to accidentally proc uh, any trinkets or lunar eclipse, etc. They are not counted. So and looks like like healers are screwed here as well, like this was finally a, like a rest of the time to shine, as the phase three here is like a hot heaven, uh, but looks like any healing during the phase 3 is removed from ranking. So yeah. 
that's pretty much it for TOGC. Like, and as for Onyxia, looks like everything here does count, and also looks like there will be adding a uh, new Death Knight Blood DPS pack uh, to the logs. That's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.